There they are, look at them right there. <laughs> chilling out, chilling out in a virtual world, digitally. That's the Blitz Lounge. What's going on, everybody? Welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz, presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance Smith. This is the one and only legend, Eddie George. My man, it's good to see you again. Good seeing you, too. Tough loss, we'll get into yeah. it. We'll get into yeah, we'll it. We'll get into all that. Blitz Lounge is here. Uh, we'll talk to them. We've got some, uh, some fun stuff we're going to play. Uh, but let's, um, let's, are you good? I, man, I'm great, man. You feel I, great. You seem man, great. I feel good. The sun, it was a beautiful day today. Gorgeous, day. right? Incredible day. This Didn't get to have a chance to play golf, but hey. I'm sorry. I enjoy just being at the house, playing video games, and talking to my wife. Are you playing? Are you a first-person shooter kind of guy? What Actually, do do? I'm still in college football in 2013. That's my guy. That's, what, right that's me too. So, yeah. All right. Hey, let's uh, kick off the show, do what we do. Uh, big moves happening within the Titans organization. Uh, General Manager John Robinson not playing around. So obviously uh, some guys cut from the team. Vic Beasley, the biggest name of the bunch. Uh, chemistry not work, he's not gelling. Not hey, on the team. Th this, this is a business first. Let's, yeah. let's make no mistake about it. The yeah. NFL stands for not for long and it's a business. And I love his quote. He says, listen, I don't make roster moves to make statements. I make roster moves to win games boom period yeah and it, it, it may put some guys on notice but he's trying to win a championship right now he recognizes that he has a great offense the defense has had some issues some pieces that he may have thought been a, a nice piece a nice compliment didn't work out so yeah. he's going to shake it up right now uh, personally speaking I think you know they still miss Dean Pease they're still missing that piece and okay. that could take some time okay. but um, I think uh, it's a brilliant move to say, hey, we're, going, we're not happy with our current roster. We want to shake it up right now and, and try to go after this championship. We'll talk more about the, uh, the shakeup, too. But before we uh, move on, to add to that roster, before the trade deadline, uh, we go out and get uh, cornerback Desmond King, uh, who was a heck of a player, all-pro player with, uh, with uh, the Chargers. So, I mean, had, had to fix a spot. Cornerback, boom, right yeah, there. Yeah, well, the uh, Dory Jackson still out. Yeah. And... Um, you know, Hopefully I think not long. It, not long, but I think that's been the Achilles heel a little bit. We needed some more, some more playmakers back there, yeah. guys that can shut it down so they can do some things up front to, to blitz more because they're not having, get, providing any type of pass rush or any type of pressure with a four-man rush. So yeah. they're going to have to do it blitzing-wise in order to do that. You got to have covers they can corner. Yeah, and we've been playing with some rookies in the secondary, so it's been tough. But like we said, you know, John Robinson making some moves. Uh, and showing the fan base, the franchise, right. the players in the locker room that uh, we're in this thing, we lead the division, and we're going to do whatever it takes yeah. to get there, to get to the promised land. All right, let's, uh, let's do the thing with Eddie. Let's do four downs with Eddie, brought to you by Corson Fire and Security. And uh, I know everybody's uh, focused on their uh, television last night for wins and losses. The only loss I really want to talk about is the loss we had on Sunday. Mm. Ouch, second yeah. in a row mm -hmm. to the Bengals. Didn't see it coming. Yeah. Defensive woes continue uh, in this game's problem, they were 10 of 15 on third down, talking about the Bengals. Yes. Converted a fourth down. Uh, defense sort of just seemed to play sort of reactively. There was no scheming going on that I could see right. uh, from my armchair quarterback position. Um, frustrating. Yeah, and I've, I've played in games like this where you have a tough opponent the week before mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh. Okay. And I, it's the saying that I always say, Pittsburgh or whomever beats you twice. Oh, okay. Because you're thinking about that last loss. Mm -hmm. You almost could have gone into overtime, and yeah. that just carried over. The, the energy didn't seem like they were, it was there with the team. It came out a little flat. A little flat, yeah. Just kind of waiting for things to happen, guys not really making plays, making things happen. They weren't creating that energy, the energy that you need. And, and playing in Cincinnati can lull you to sleep, the environment, plus the fact that the 1-5, and five, a sneaky 1-5. and five, Yeah, I was going to say that record that was record not on was, the field. A sneaky, listen, Joe Burrow is the real deal. He is the real deal. He can light it up, as yeah. we can see. And um, I, I just think that's what happened. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. Uh, and we said it going into the game, though. They had some firepower. 
uh, and they used it. But uh, let's move on as the team is moving on. Second mm -hmm. down here. Look, our rushing game is legit, okay? Totally, we put up uh, over 200 yards on the ground, yes. 218 to be specific. Uh, Derrick Henry, as you can see right here, this is part of his 112-yard mm -hmm. rushing game. Uh, he only had 18 carries to get the to get 112. Uh, McNichols, uh, again, I love watching this changeup that we have in our backfield. Jeremy McNichols doing his thing. And, uh, and Eddie, uh, Dante Foreman, a guy that was a star in college, gets injured playing for the Texans, doesn't really play for them much, uh, and then goes to the Colts, not play for them much, ends up on our practice squad. And this guy was running uh, with his few carries, five carries, 37 yards, running for a job and yeah. was exciting to watch. Yeah. He has an opportunity. I mean, look at him. He's running with his hair on fire. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, he's running with a great deal of passion, um, like he's hungry. And it's good to have a bevy of running backs you can rely on. Of course, you got our superstar in Derrick Henry, right. who, who's up for the MVP this season, maybe winning his second rushing title for the yeah. two consecutive years. Um, and when you can have two guys you can rely on, McNichols and now Freeman, and, and turning off yards, yeah. you don't necessarily worry about that. They say, these guys are going to take over my role. They're, no. they're coming in just to fill in for the king. Yeah. You know, just sit there on the throne for about a hot second, let him get a breather and get up and let him do his thing. So it's not a competition thing, obviously, because Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry. Right. He's the king on the sideline. But he is getting that breather, and he's watching, though. But is there, is there a competitive spirit, though? I mean, Derrick's not worried about his job, but if he yeah. sees – uh, Dante Foreman rip off some good hard yards. Yeah. Does he come in just a little bit harder? You know the what? Play? There is always a competitive element to okay. it. You don't, you, you don't want the next guy to outdo you, but, but from, your, from your perspective on the sideline as a running back, you have a chance to see it from a different perspective. You can see the same plays that he's running, you're running, and say, yeah. okay, the cornerback is doing this, linebacker is doing this, they're playing this type of game here, yeah. so this is what I think I can anticipate this on this particular play yeah. and kind of move forward. Our run game is lit. I love it. it is. I love it's it. Awesome I obviously run. love Derek, but I love our, uh, the entire uh, compliment we have to each other. Let's move yeah. on to third down now. Uh, a few more woes. Uh, special teams struggling again. And, you know, we mentioned at the top, uh, John Robinson making big cuts. Um, Bo Brinkley, long time, long snapper for the Tennessee Titans. Mm -hmm. Also one of the guys that was cut. Yeah. Um, some inconsistency. And this was a big one right here. The snap was low. It led to this, which also led to Brett uh, being injured as he's trying to figure out where to throw this ball, I think this could have been a penalty right here anyway, yeah. uh, as he followed More through pitch. on that hit. Um, right there, Brett Kern injured on the play. Uh, status unknown right now. Tucker McCann back up. We'll get into that later. Well, but special had, teams. They've had issues with the snap the exchanges before. I yeah. think all year long, and, mm -hmm. and that's what we've seen. We, they've addressed, or trying to address the, the special teams issue that's been atrocious for the most part, all season. It's been tough. Yeah, it's up and yeah. down. Also had a big run back that uh, we had trouble stopping. Uh, but, hey, let's end it on a bright spot. Uh, fourth down here, Corey Davis is quietly having a really good season. Uh, and and this, is, this is what people really wanted to see from him, you know, considering his mm -hmm. uh, draft capital. Um, he's, he stepped up, you know, what, eight for uh, 128 and a touchdown, clutch grabs, this is the Corey Davis you wanted to see, and especially with uh, with Humphreys going down with that vicious hit that didn't have a call. Refs, I know you're not watching our show, but I'm going to say it. Yeah, he's not the game breaker that A.J. Brown is, but when you have a guy you can rely on and move the chains like here, just, just simple routes, comebacks, crossing routes, and so forth, that's what you want. He's been very productive, and hopefully he can continue to have the season he's having. Yeah, no, it's, I, I like the chemistry he's got with Ryan. Mm -hmm. I should see more of that uh, later this year. All right, we'll uh, keep this show going, but you guys know, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our guy, Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz will be right back. Oh, my goodness. He is a freight train. Touchdown, Titans. A.J. Brown to the five, spinning to the four and getting into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans. Davis catching. Did he get the feet down? One, two. It's a touchdown. Yep. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. 
Tough. Tennessee Tough. Bring it in, bring it in. Welcome back, everybody, to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Now halftime here on the show. Lance and Eddie back with you. And, uh, Eddie, COVID's changed a lot for us this year. But, yeah. but what, what are we missing most here at Nissan Stadium on these days? Game days. Oh, tailgating. Right? Tailgating, right? Tailgating, yes. He knows. He knows. Uh, but check this out. Mark Mariani teamed up with our friends at Kroger to give some season ticket members the ultimate Nissan Stadium tailgating experience at home. Check this out. We are here today in Franklin with our friends Jim and Linda who are day one season ticket holders for the Tennessee Titans. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are not able to tailgate at Nissan Stadium. So our friends at Coke and Kroger are bringing a tailgate to them. Let's go! Woo! We got T-Rack, the Blue Crew, we got the Jumbotron. Oh, this is, this is a great surprise. We have been tailgating since the inaugural game. It's been tough because we love to be down there, but this, this makes it a really special day. This is just terrific. Very cool, and a special thanks to our friends at uh, Coca-Cola for helping us out with that as well. Thank you, Mark Mariani, for showing those folks a good time. Now let's have a good time here on the Blitz. Uh, we've got a special guest joining us here on the program, uh, Mr. Brandon Galloway. How are you, sir, there in the Blitz Lounge? I'm doing well. How are y'all? Doing good. Doing great, man. So who's your favorite football team? <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't tell. I couldn't love tell. the hat. Love the hat, bro. <laughs> I couldn't feel it. <laughs> so, uh, so Brandon, tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. I, I hear that you um, you work with uh, at-risk kids. Is that right? Correct. Right. So I work with a lot of uh, kids. It's the place of foster care. Uh, it's all around the all around the state. Uh, we work with a lot of kids that are at risk. Of, you know. They, uh, you know, a lot of things that they could be negative. We try to do they like to do a lot of positive things in their lives. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, well, so Brandon, listen, you are here. Uh, did they tell you why you're here? You know what game you're playing? The Pick'em Challenge, right? The Pick'em Challenge. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Brandon, they didn't tell me. They tell you that, Eddie? They didn't tell me that either. Yeah, I don't What's know anything on? about the, the Pick'em Challenge. Actually, um, we've completely lied to you, Brandon Galloway, because uh, you, sir, are our Titans fan of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Hold that face oh right there. Yeah, let's we'll see that right there. Yes, yes, sir. Listen, we put out a call to our fan base, and we were looking <laughs> for people that showed passion and enthusiasm for our brand, had an inspirational story, and showed community spirit. Mr. Galloway, you, sir, are all those things. Thank you so, so much. This is very unexpected. Very unexpected. I'm humbled. Thank you so much. Um, you, you, so you bring, I understand you, you bring these kids to the games with you, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, I'll bring uh, kids to games, kids that usually, you know, would never probably be able to have a chance to come. Um, I had one come to the uh, Houston game, and I had another come to, and the guy that just came to the Houston game actually served our military. Young guy, still trying to get on his feet. Um, and then uh, there's another guy I brought to the, uh, oh, gracious, the Houston Pittsburgh game. Yeah. Pittsburgh game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we, we did a lot of stuff. They had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Well, uh, Brandon, look, thank you uh, so much for all that you do in the community. Thank you uh, for working with those uh, at-risk kids. Please keep up that good work because yes, that's what made you uh, the Titans fan of the year. And listen to your prizes. It gets even better. Uh, you're going to get to participate uh, in several virtual events, which includes a roundtable with Hall of Fame receiver Chris Carter. That's awesome. You get your uh, specialized Titans jersey with a fan of the year patch. Nobody else is going to have that uh, in the stadium. Uh, and... Uh, you represent the Titans, so you're going to get a chance, a chance maybe to go to Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay. And we'll be there. The Titans will be there. <laughs> and we'll be there. Oh, Let's I like this. I'll see you down there, Brandon. I'm going to wear that Let's hat, too. 
All right, I'm good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Brandon Galloway right there, Titans fan of the year. I love that's, this, that's Eddie. Great. That's, that's good, good stuff. Awesome. All right, guys, man. stick around. We got to talk about this game and up game coming up, taking on the Bears up, in our house. Stick around, Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Brandon Galloway. They're making noise in their tiny little boxes there at home. They look so comfortable. The Blitz Lounge there. Welcome back, everybody, to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance Smith back with the one and only Eddie George. Two-minute warning here on the show. We got to talk about the game coming up. So, hey, we dropped a couple in a yes, row. Yes. We got to get back on yes. track because we still lead the division. Got some tough games coming up. But yes. Talk about the Bears. First key, uh, I think we got to get to Foles. Get to Foles, but more importantly, Went on third downs. Oh, well, We can yeah. get the foals on first, second down, but when third down comes, we've got to be able to get the ball back into our offense, uh, offense's hands. That's been the Achilles heel for yep. the last two games. Can't win on third down. And being get, getting the foals is going to be the number one thing, but we've got to win on third downs in addition to that. He's uh, not too skittish in the pocket. You see right there, he, when he gets a little um, out, of, out of whack, you get to him with the pressure. He's throwing the ball over the field, leads to interceptions, and hopefully that can happen for the Titans this weekend. He's got to pick uh, every game the last seven games. So mm -hmm. truly going to take that. Uh, second key to victory here. Look, I know they have Khalil Mack on the line, but they give up 120 on the ground a game. Yes. Uh, yes. So exploit the run defense. It is November. Um, so that means we got to run the football. <laughs> got to run the football. Got to run the football. It's time, and you want to do it with our trio of running backs, with Derrick Henry, of course, leading the way. We have uh, Dante Freeman and McNichols. Those all also to to come in and kind of supplement it. So, is hand the ball off to our big boys and, and let them eat, and then yeah. set everything about the play action. No, our offense has not hasn't been the problem. It's been on the other side of the football and other areas in terms of special teams. So, I think we. Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Feed the beast and let the other guys eat as well. But it would be nice to see uh, some third down victories. Oh, uh, in that's, this game, that's ultimately, that's right? Simple. Win on third <laughs> down. You play to win the games. Right? Right? Just, yeah, you, you play, play to, to stop win third to down. down. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it is. It's, it's the, definitely the turnaround we want to see. But, yeah. but getting to. Foles uh, enforcing those picks. I mean, this may be that turnover battle. When he's game skittish in the pocket, mm -hmm. that ball is going to come out and go anybody. It's anybody's ball. So he just yeah. wants to get it out. So we can force him into those uh, into those errors. That'll be a good thing for us. So we got to get him pressure. Got to get pressure, and we got to win on third down. And you know, look, hey, they're second place in their division. We're first in ours. I mean, these are two teams that, like, although this, we're not in must-win territory yet. Uh, moving forward, we are these, approaching there, these are must-win games. We're going down the yellow brick road a little oh, bit. Oh, must-win. Yeah. <laughs> must wins. All right, all right. Uh, we got uh, one more segment coming up, so do stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance and Eddie back with you. Eddie's checking out the Blitz Lounge there. Somebody's got a dog. It's, it's laid out. Super cute. Yeah, like we we should have a dog on the show is yeah, what he's saying. If you're good, we'll get you one. Oh, uh, nice. Hey, it's overtime here on the show. So, Eddie, listen, uh, you know, as of tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, the Titans mm -hmm. will have played two games in eight days. They play two games in five days. Uh, coming out of this, we're either going to be five and four, six and three, or seven and two. Yes. How difficult is this stretch coming up? It's very difficult because you're not only playing two games, you're squeezing two games in eight days, but you're playing against worthy opponents. And it's a critical time of the year. So it's going to be very important. So my advice to this team is to see it through. Take care of the little details, take care of what you can control, your attitude, your effort, and your focus, and focus on your craft this week. Mm -hmm. Focus on this game, winning this game, and winning the best way you can. So that's, that's my advice uh, for this team going in forward. How hard is this physically? It, it can be very demanding. Yeah. yeah, it can be d very demanding because now you have to really take care of yourself. What's going to be paramount is your recovery. You got to eat right. You got to get your rest. You got to hydrate, because all those things are, are going to take effect on you. You're playing a physical team mm -hmm. in in, in uh, Chicago this week, and right. then the following week is going to be uh, Indianapolis. Huge right? divisional huge matchup. Huge divisional matchup. So the next two weeks are going to be critical. 
Yeah, there you go. All right, well, hey, I'm looking forward to it. It's what we do. Football. Oh, football, baby. Yeah, right. Football. Right, right. I know. We're midway through the season. We're leading the division. I love it. We've got to keep this up. Uh, thank you to the Blitz Lounge for hanging out with us. And congratulations once again to our Titans like fan of the year, Mr. Yeah, Brandon Galloway yeah, there. Yeah, 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 I love it. Uh, hey, we'll take care of business at home. I can't wait to see you guys here in Nissan City. Those of you lucky enough to make it, got to get that win, baby. Check us out next week on the Titans Blitz. We'll see you then. Tighten up. Let's go. Tighten up, baby. Woo! <laughs>